Make no mistake, this is a ban. A ban on TikTok and a ban on you and your voice. The president recently signed a bill where TikTok's developer ByteDance has nine months to sell the app due to data privacy concerns from Congress. If TikTok doesn't sell, current users won't be able to get updates and newcomers won't be able to join the platform. I'm in nursing school, like sometimes when you get on TikTok, you begin to see stuff that kind of discourages you, that stops you from going or walking to places you go. So I'm like, no, I don't want to see this. So I just like quit the whole thing and walk away. Because when I get on there, it's quite addictive. Like you will spend hours scrolling on it. And I just try to like stay with them. This decision is striking debate and concern amongst millions of Americans. The app's main users are from Gen Z, particularly college students. Young adults here at COC have a lot of feelings towards this upcoming ban and have much to say. But I don't know why they're banning TikTok specifically because everything is everywhere. I think TikTok is the easiest place to get noticed over any social media and without that a lot of like businesses and stuff are going to like lose traction. I go on TikTok occasionally, that and Instagram Reels, so I feel like I would just, you know, go to Reels because like I wouldn't have TikTok. It's bad because I love TikTok so much and I'm on it every day, but it's good because I'll get off my phone and it'll definitely benefit my life. Because I'll definitely be way more productive. I think I'll just get a lot more done. <laughs> I think I'll end up watching a lot more like shows and movies rather than being on my free page. In a world where swipes and likes shape our everyday lives, it's clear students here at COC are feeling strongly about the TikTok ban. Stay tuned because this story is far from over. Reporting for Canyons News, I'm Amanda Carrasco.